Right guys, so now, after that last video, we created our blog, uh, our WordPress website on DigitalOcean. Now we're gonna secure it, we're gonna add an SSL to a DigitalOcean WordPress website, right? We're gonna do it by uh, logging into Terminal and uh, adding some lines of code, uh, or running some lines of code. I found this article and I'll put a link to it on, um, it's, it's like an Envato Invar marketplace, but I went through and we just need to go through and follow these instructions uh, to launch it and to make it secure. So what we're looking for, how you see there is secure, HTTPS, we're gonna make this blog secure as well, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log into my terminal. I'm actually, I'm actually already logged into it, but just for you, I'm gonna terminate it. I'm gonna find that DigitalOcean droplet, right? So you need your IP address. I'm gonna copy it, your IP address of your DigitalOcean droplet, right? So if you don't know it, log into DigitalOcean uh, and it will show you a list of your uh, IP. So it's this one, Funnel Launcher Blog, there's the IP address. So I've just copied it and I'm gonna go uh, Open Terminal in Mac, you're gonna to go to Utilities, Terminal, uh, on Windows, I think you just go to the, the, the search box in the bottom left-hand corner, type in terminal, and it'll show you the app. I'm going to do ssh root at that IP address I'm going to paste in, and enter password that you would have changed when you set up your um, website. And it jumps me in, right? So now I'm going to follow this instruction. Let's begin by updating the server, right? So I'm gonna copy this, grab that, update. It's gonna run an update and done. If you don't have Git installed in a service, best to have it installed. So I'm gonna grab this code, paste that. It's done that. Once installed, clone the whatever. I don't exactly understand what it's doing. I just know it works. Paste that line in, press enter. Clones the Let's Inscript software. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to open that file by copying this. Right. It's moved me into that folder. Now I'm going to copy this. And the last part here is the website, right? So for me, I'm going to remove this to just after that dash D and put blog dot funnellauncher.com, right? Make sure I've spelled it right. It's a bit funny. Uh, I don't want to, or I can resize it because I'm not going to zoom in. So blog.funnellauncher.com and I press enter. It's going to go through its uh, settings and do its thing. And then it's going to come and show me, it doesn't actually just show you a wizard. It just does it in, in uh, like it does it in, Oh, is it sequential order, next order? It does it in a. Um, it doesn't open a box like this. It just asks me for the same information on a on a command line. Doesn't take too long. So it's going to ask me uh, for an email address. It's going to ask me to agree to terms and conditions. And then it's going to say, uh, "Do you want to secure?" your uh, everything or just certain pages. I do just all pages, but you may not want to. Right, so here we are, enter your email address. So I'm gonna put in, please don't email me. Uh, read the terms, agree to the terms. Would you be willing to share your email? I mean, I put no, I might be being mean, but you know, I get enough junk anyway. And it is going to finish off and it'll say, please choose whether HTTPS is required. So here, look, uh, please choose whether or not to redact HTTP traffic to HTTPS, removing HTTP access. So press one for one for no redirect and two for a redirect. I, I mean, it's personal preference for you. I personally want it to be secure on all pages. So I'm just going to do two and it's done, right? So when I now go back to my blog, it should hopefully now be secure, and it is. Last thing I may need to do, uh, I want to do is go in and, oh, let me, if I hopefully remember the password. No, I know I didn't put that one in. 
Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's hope it's that one. Everybody will be screaming, why don't you have a password saver? I have a formula in my head that I make for websites. Uh, so when I go to settings now, I just want to make this HTTPS and this HTTPS as the default and save. Again, it'll log me out, but now I have a secure website. I have a little green padlock. If you're not getting a green padlock when you've just up in when you've just installed it, it's because there may be content on your page that um, that isn't secure. So if you've uploaded pictures already, then the picture itself won't be secure after the fact. So you want to what you want to do is if you if you got a, a black here or it isn't it isn't showing or there's a there's a problem, go to uh, a website called why no padlock.com. I've already got it there. Look padlock. Oh dot com why no padlock dot com and then type in um, whatever it is I, I mean type in your domain name and it'll tell you um, it'll tell you why there's no padlock it'll say this image needs to be secure and you'll have to re-upload it or you'll have to put it in a secure place all right so that was just how to how to quickly using this instruction here which is great uh, from Jeff Ray Reifman uh, I just followed that code uh, I just followed these commands, installed it, and I'm secure. So I hoped it helped. It was a lot easier than uh, some other ways of doing it. Uh, any more questions, you know where I am. If you're signing up for DigitalOcean, pnuk.co forward slash DigitalOcean is my affiliate partner link. I get a little bit of uh, credit for, for, for my account if, uh, if you sign up using that. Any questions, you know where I am, paulnicholson.com. Uh... My computer's gone really slow. Visit my blog forum. Visit my blog. Drop into the forum. Come and join my Facebook group. I'm always here to help and ask questions, answer questions in there. But have a great day. Uh, I hope that helps. See you soon, guys.